If there's one guy in the video game industry I do quite like, it is Michael Pachter, and you damn well know that the media outlets love getting a quote from him because every single week it seems like we have a Michael Pachter says this, Michael Pachter predicts this article on IGN or Gaming Bolt or what have you. And well, today is really no different as Michael Pachter is predicting that Microsoft will launch the Xbox 2 or next gen Xbox before the PlayStation 5, and I want to talk about it for a little bit. What's going on guys, Randall Thor 19 the man with the million back again with another video. And before we get started, make sure you check out my previous video today about Quantum Break 2 and Alan Wake 2 basically not happening because of Microsoft. Go check that video out, give it a like, and while you're at it, give this one a like too. So you know what? I like Michael Pachter. I've actually met the dude, talked to him for quite a bit at E3 2016. I enjoy the guy's predictions, his insight, and if you don't know who he is, he's an analyst at uh, the firm Webbrush Securities. He covers stocks and all that different stuff. And a lot of these media people, they go to him for opinions about when Microsoft is going to do this, what is Sony going to do. I'm sure you've seen it. And there's always this meme surrounding whatever he predicts that the opposite will hold true. So like for this one here, he says that Microsoft is going to launch before Sony. The meme would be that, well, now this confirms that the PlayStation 5 will launch before the Xbox. But let's get into what he actually said, and we're going to break it down. Um, Gaming Bolts re said they recently spoke with Pactor about a number of things, and one of the issues we quizzed him on was the next Xbox, and he was of the opinion that though the current Xbox One owners might feel a little slighted by uh, it coming out so soon that Microsoft are definitely going to launch their next system before Sony launches the PlayStation 5, citing 2020 as the most likely release year. And I quote, I'm sure Microsoft intends to launch first, and I'm equally certain that the new Xbox will be backwards compatible with any Xbox One X software. I agree that it's hard for Xbox One X purchasers, but they should know four years into a cycle that there is another one coming. My guess is that Microsoft intends to launch in 2020, but if they think Sony is going to launch the PS5, then they will launch early. So, okay, let's break this whole thing down, right? First off, what a prediction you got there, Mike, that the next Xbox, Xbox Scarlet, whatever they're gonna call it, is gonna be backwards compatible. Whew, tough prediction there. I know you went on a limb to predict backwards compatibility and I hope you're right one. I mean, come on, we know this one is right. If there's one thing we know that Microsoft is going to do is to preserve the backwards compatibility program that was such a success this generation. A thing that I never really thought would take off or that they would continue to support. I think they're almost approaching 500 games it's going strong um clearly that is going to be a bullet point for them uh we also expect the playstation 5 to be back compat with the playstation 4 as well so backwards compatibility after kind of being gone for the last couple gens is going to make a return which is good for everybody i mean you bought those digital games or physical games you want to be able to play them again uh on a future console so yeah tough prediction there right and he agrees that it's hard for Xbox One X purchasers, and I, I kind of a, a little agree with him there. It's like, listen, you should know that these generations go on for a certain period of time, and the Xbox One X, and just like the PS4 Pro, they only ever were going to be mid-gen upgrades. I mean, Sony came out and said they did the PS4 Pro because they wanted to stop people from moving to PC. Microsoft had a different reason. They wanted to build the Xbox One X, because they were getting killed on the power front. And don't let everyone tell you that the resolution gate stuff didn't happen. You remember how the 720p thing? Yeah, Microsoft wanted to, to remove that narrative from all future discussions, which is why the Xbox One X exists. And I love the system. And there is something to be said about, hey, it's 2017, it's out, and now you're already hearing rumors about a next-gen Xbox. I mean, Phil Spencer at E3 said that, you know, their hardware team is building new systems and people were like what oh my god I, I just got my xbox one x or i just got my xbox one s i mean these things were in production or at least thought about right when the new systems came out that's just how long and of a lead in time they need to make these new systems so it should be a no surprise to anybody that we're gonna have new systems soon and quite frankly they're a little bit overdue uh, you look at last gen that lasted eight years. We're five years into this gen. 
Patra says 2020, which means seven years, so one year less. And if you go back and look at the previous generations, they all last about five to four years. So we're actually getting more use out of our consoles now than we ever did before. But the thing that I'm a little confused about is this whole thing that Microsoft is going to launch before Sony, because I don't really think it's that simple. He says that Microsoft intends to launch in 2020, and I completely agree with him. I think that is the sweet spot for Microsoft to launch their next console. Is the one that kind of, we're just thinking about, confused on, is what is Sony's plan? Because I can see them either launching in 2019 or 2020. But the way Michael talks about it here is that if Microsoft finds out that the PlayStation 5 is launching in 2020, that they'll launch early, which by early you would mean a year early, right? So you would say, okay, the Xbox, next gen Xbox is coming in 2019 if the PS5 is coming in 2020. Unless he really does think the PS5 is coming in 2021, which means, okay, the next gen Xbox has a clear sight for 2020. But I honestly think and feel that we're closer to the PlayStation 5 then we are the Xbox 2 or Xbox Scarlet, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if anybody anybody in ch you know in the comments thinks so. If you do, let me know. I just I feel like we're closer to the end of the PlayStation than we are to the end of the Xbox uh, One. And m in my opinion, it's probably more than likely they're both going to launch at the same time. So when I see him say like, "Hey, you know, if Microsoft finds out, they're going to launch what a full year ahead," like. We're two years away from 2020. I think Microsoft would have to know now so they can lock down the parts, get a right pricing structure. Uh, you know, I don't know when they would find out about the PlayStation 5, but unless he's literally talking like, guys, PlayStation 5's coming out November 15th, 2020. Uh, we got to launch the Xbox 2 uh, November 8th, 2020. Unless he's literally talking about launching before, even in the same year, but he can't because that's just stupid, right? That's just dumb. He has to mean a full year beforehand. Uh, that That's how I'm reading this whole thing. But I just, I think it's too late at this point. I think Microsoft has a date. I think they're sticking to the date. And the only kind of wild card here to me is the PlayStation. I've said in previous videos that I thought it was possible that the PlayStation 5 could come out next year and also possible that it could come out in 2020. I think it all depends on if they can get all their exclusive games out for 2019 and then they can launch the PS5 at the end. And there's no way, like let's assume here for a minute, hypothetically, that the PlayStation 5 is 2019. For Microsoft to get out before that, like Michael says here, that they intend to launch the next gen Xbox before the PlayStation 5, the next gen Xbox would have to be next year. And that's impossible. Like there's no next gen Xbox coming out next year. So I don't know. Sometimes I think Microsoft, I think Michael Pactor just likes to hear himself talk a little bit or likes to see him quoted in GameSpot and IGN and Gaming Bolt and all these different places. Just like I like to hear myself talk in these videos. Eh, little self to, little, little humor right there. But uh, I, I actually don't like hearing myself talk. Uh, I don't know, even know why you guys watch my videos because I my 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 voice is pretty grating. Uh, so yeah, I don't I don't know. Like I'm just kind of confused by all this stuff. But it's like I said about the meme. I honestly think now that just just confirms that the PlayStation Five will launch in 2019 and the Xbox Two, which is what I'm going to be calling it will be launching in 2020. And thank you, Michael, for making that now a reality. Everybody should just believe that. Michael Pactor has said it, and now the opposite will be true. Because there's absolutely no way the Xbox is coming in 2018. There's no way Microsoft could out out get out before PlayStation if they're launching in 2019. And there's no way the PlayStation 5 is coming in 2021. So the whole idea of the Xbox coming in 2020 uh, a year before the PlayStation is kind of absurd anyways. So you basically have just, in my opinion, two choices or two options. They both launch in 2020, which is high probability and probably the most likely scenario, or the PlayStation 5 is launching in 2019 and the Xbox 2 is launching in 2020. 
and Microsoft will have a uh, you know, beefier system than PlayStation, potentially a more expensive one. Either way, next generation is close. We all know this. Uh, it's, it's ending. There's all these talks um, about it, and I'm sure Michael Pachter will have more things to say about, uh, you know, the launch games and the pricing and the, you know, all the different things that go along with a next-gen uh, system launch, which is always an exciting time. I always get excited when we talk about next-gen hardware. I don't know about you guys, but uh, even though I'm looking forward to the next systems, I almost kind of don't want this generation to end. I feel like PlayStation is finally, like, firing on all cylinders. They got some great exclusives coming out. And I know Xbox has had a rough couple years, but it looks like they're a little bit, they're turning the corner now. Uh, they, they, made some, they made some moves, they're buying some studios to help build out first party and make games outside of just Halo, Forza, and Gears of War. But then I think about what the next systems could look like and what games, the graphics, the feature sets, and all that different stuff, and I'm like, yeah, maybe, maybe I could go for an next Xbox. Maybe I could go for the PlayStation 5, because imagine what God of War 2 will look like on a PS5. Imagine what Horizon Zero Dawn 2 will look like on a PS5. Imagine what another Uncharted would look like. And you kind of start thinking like, yeah, you know what? I don't kind of want next gen to start, especially if you got a 4K TV and those games will all be more likely native 4K. Hopefully they keep 60 frames. But um, anyways, guys, that is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm trying to get more into the rhythm of making daily content again as I took a little vacation, you know. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. It would help out the channel a lot. Um, hit the notification bell if you always want to be notified when I drop these videos. This one is coming probably, I'm going to schedule it for later in the night. Uh, make sure you guys tune in tomorrow for the Xbox 2 podcast with myself and Jez Corden. We're going to be talking about a whole lot of stuff. It's going to be a fun time. Uh, so sub and you know, hit that bell so you know when that podcast goes live. Leave a comment below about what you think about all this stuff. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Later, guys.